this is exactly how organized we are on this trip. <laughs> okay, let's hurry for show on the road. Kids could be in the pool for all we know. We don't have any idea. Hopefully, they're, they're fine. They're safe. Yeah. Hopefully they'll come back. Good morning. This is day two. We are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh, the kids have gotten up earlier than we anticipated them getting up. We're getting ready to head out. We're going to go have a, a fun day. We're going to try to do some Gatlinburg. We're going to try to do some Cades Cove today. We have a lot planned. Um, got up early this morning and headed out and um, took a ride on the strip in Pigeon Forge just to kind of see how busy it would be. It's Memorial Day weekend, but with all the pandemic, we didn't know what was going on. So I'm going to uh, play the video of our, we rode the strip for you. Um, I'm going to play that in its entirety. It's probably several minutes long. I'm going to put a timestamp right here. So if you want to fast forward through that um, to the end of it, if you don't want to watch the whole the whole ride through the strip you can just fast forward through that but i wanted to include that in here just so you guys could see from start to finish um all the businesses and exactly how busy it was um riding from the gatlinburg end of the strip of pigeon forge all the way down to the tanger outlets so you can see that right here um but anyway uh, at the end of that we'll continue the vlog and then like i said we're going to head to gatlinburg we're going to uh probably uh after that head to kate's cove towards um dark or later in the evening this afternoon see if we can catch some wildlife and take the kiddos and tour the tour the churches and the and the cabins and everything up there and then come back tonight finish up we're trying to talk the kids into uh doing the slingshot riley is adamant against doing the <laughs> slingshot braylon's determined she wants to do it riley says no she's not going to do it but but then again riley wants to do the ferris wheel and braylon doesn't yeah so who knows what's going to happen there's no telling how we're going to end the day but that's the goal right now. All that could change in a moment's notice. But anyway, we're fixing to head out. We'll see how it's going to go. And um, keep your fingers crossed. It's going to be fun. So we'll see you guys later on. Bye.
So we have been walking around Gatlinburg for a couple of hours. No, it's been a couple of hours now. And as much as you want everything to be normal, it's just not. I mean, I would say three quarters of everything is open, but it appears that um, even the things that are open, um, there's still a lot of social distancing going on and there's just you know only allowing so many people in at a time and be sure to pay attention to the lines on the floor. lines on the on the floor it's just you just want everything to be back to normal but it is nice to see um see everybody trying to get back to normal so i think everybody's ready we're gonna keep plugging along um but it sure will be nice whenever we can put all this stuff behind us but anyway so we're enjoying finding little places to sit down and let the girls walk around. <laughs> yes, the girls are having a good time today. So anyhow, we're going to keep plugging along. So far, so good. It is a beautiful day. It's supposed to rain a little bit, but the sky is blue right now. It's a little cloudy, but it is very good. It is nice. It is nice. Right now, we're sitting in a little area. Um, but as you can see, I'm going to pan around here, and you see there's still... The jerky place here appears to be open, but um, the hot dog place is not open. Um, and if I pan on around here, you'll see that the gym mine place is open, Smoky Mountain Art is open. Um, but, you know, it's just, like I said, about three quarters of everything is open, but not all, not everything's completely open. But we're gonna keep trekking along and taking you guys with us. The kids did make it to the top of the, um, Riley showed me a picture she took of it. Yeah. Top of the, what is it called? Space Needle. Top of the Space Needle here in California. So they had a good time. Meanwhile, I lost a lot of money in the claw machine. <laughs> because you have a competition problem. I do have a problem with the claw machines. But we won't talk about that. Anyhow, we will catch up with you guys here in just a little bit.
so it's the end of day. What day is it? Two. Brother, what day is it? Two. She says it's day two. It feels like day 15 of a four day trip. Yeah, that yawn right there you see? That yawn is because it is 12.06 a.m. I have 1% left on my Apple Watch and that's about how much I have in me as well. It has been a long day. We started out the day this morning. We got up thinking we would let the kiddos sleep, but the kiddos magically said they couldn't sleep. By the time we got back to the hotel room, they had already texted us and said they were ready to go. Um, but we got out this morning and drove the strip, which you saw. The, you'll see the footage in the vlog. Um, grabbed some breakfast for them. We made our way to Gatlinburg. Um, the kids went to the top of the Space Needle. Um, we lost a bunch of money in a claw machine. That was awesome. Um, we had some lunch. We came back here had some lunch. We actually got in a little bit of a nap. And then we had this awesome idea that we thought nobody else would have. Because we we just come out of a pandemic. We thought, hey, you know, we're going to go to Cades Cove. Where there's probably no Rona. And it'll be quiet. We can ride the, the circle at Cades Cove see the wildlife and um, I guess everyone else this side of the Mississippi decided they wanted to go to Cades Cove today because we left the strip at Pigeon Forge about 3 30 this afternoon and we got back to the strip at Pigeon Forge tonight somewhere between 9 30 and 10 it was bumper to bumper traffic um, it was the busiest we've been to Cades Cove a bunch of times it was probably the busiest we've ever seen Cades Cove, and that blew us away. I know it's Memorial Day weekend, but we just honestly didn't think it would be that busy. But it's good to see that it was. And um, anyway, we're going to have a whole other vlog dedicated strictly to Cades Cove. We've got a bunch of footage, and we'll be posting that shortly. But anyway, that was the end of day two. We have nothing set for day three, but we'll see whatever um, whatever we can come up with. But that's it for us on day two. You got anything to add to this? You're not saying a whole lot back there. No. What about you, Turban Girl? Anything to say? No, sir. She said no, sir. Riley's <laughs> taking a shower. I think everybody's tired and ready to go to bed. So we're going to sign off for tonight. And we'll pick this thing back up. In a few hours. In a few hours. So <laughs> we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to day three.